We just got a report of wild dogs running across quarantine. We're sitting with Krula. We've left her and we're trying to catch up with uh, where the dogs are. Oh, so exciting to come back to wild dogs. I see the car. Now, where are the dogs? Now, of course, with wild dogs, if any of you have not been on a vehicle with wild dogs, they're my favorite animal. They make me very excited. They also move very fast. Um, we'll try our best, but also with the roof on, it could prove a little... There they are. A bit difficult. Hello, puppies. Look at that. Now, I'm trying to see which pack it is. Looks to be only three dogs, so it could be one of two packs. But we need to see if there's a male dog with the three very distinct white spots on his side. Um, and that is, would mean it's the Lower Sabi uh, breakaway pack from the Lower Sabi. One second, I've just got to. If they're heading towards Gallagher Mighty on that small and Lela now. Copy. There we go. They're mobile towards uh, Gallagher Mighty. Oh, so exciting! There's two stations here. I'm not sure if there was a third making the way. Look at that. I love the white tips to their tail. They look like they've actually had a meal today already, uh, but they are insatiable. Well, they have insatiable appetites at least. Now, there's a good chance they might find Inyala, Impala, uh, Dyker, Stiernborg, all in this area. Unfortunately, yes, if they do go off the road, it is near impossible to follow them through this area without a roof on. And we do have a roof on because it has been raining constantly throughout the day. Fingers crossed they stay on the road. Now, the most incredible thing is there are only about three and a half to 4,000 wild dogs left in the wild in the whole of Africa. They are uh, the most endangered carnivore in Southern Africa, or large carnivore in Southern Africa. And they're the second most endangered canid in the world. There's only one other member of the dog family who's more endangered than the African wild dog, and that is the Ethiopian wolf. No, don't go that way. That is a bad way to go, wild dogs. Uh, thank you very much Susie. Susie says, uh, just Brent's luck to have wild dogs on his first day back. I'm trying to plan what to do next. I think we're going to try to go around because I think we're not going to get in there with the roof. Oh. Whoopsie daisies. There's a little, and a big, well, a big animal path that goes up. Uh, on the other side, opposite the Gallagher waterhole, and I think that's going to be our best bet. What a busy Saturday afternoon, lions, leopard, wild dog. Who knows what's going to be next? Oh, it looks. Oh, we caught up with them again. Yeah. Uh, they've just duck, ducked down here. There we go, you can just see them going through the bush there. 
I say it's near impossible to keep up with them through this this stuff. Um, trying to think. Okay, yeah, that's going to be the plan. And hopefully, it looks like they might go down towards the Voyatella Dam eventually if they keep in that. Oh, Brian, uh, can we see behind me? Are we good? Oh, there's a tree. Stop. I stopped. Now, these little drainage systems or, or little dry riverbeds, uh, like the dogs have just moved into here, are, are areas that they really like to hunt. And two of their favorite foods, and bushbuck and anyala, uh, will often be around these areas. And they literally course up and down. Oh, I've lost. Oh, my ears aren't working. We're heading for this open area in front of us. Let's just have a quick look. Um, if we can see them from here, they should be about to appear in front of us in case, unless they've changed their mind. It looks like they've changed their mind. Oh dear, while well, we try find them again, let's go see what Jamie is up to. So, from what I can see, it looks like the lower Sabi pack. Um, well, what's, there they are. Oh, they're moving fast. No, don't go to the boundary. So it looks like the, I saw the male with the three white spots on his side, uh, which lets me know that it is the lower Sabi pack or the remnants of. Uh, there used to be a much bigger pack but a lot of them died of canine distemper last year. Yes. Uh, well, sure I'm now heading east along Buffalo Cutline. A firm F, make your way, there's only two stations. that I just love that profile and those radar ears let's get a bit closer turn south everyone say in your head turn south wild dogs let's go catch an impala at the Juma Pan I think that's a splendid idea Fana is wondering, are these wild dogs like the ones you get in Australia? They're not. Uh, those are called dingoes. This is actually called an African wild dog. Uh, and they're, they're quite far separated from the rest of the dog family. They split around 1.6, 1.7 million years ago. And their dental structure is actually different. It's made for tearing uh, and ripping up of meat. And of course, that is what they eat. And they've also got an extra toe. Now this is really exciting. Ooh, it look, looks like I might have spotted something. Look, look, look at that, look at that body language change of the one, the female. Did she hear something or did she see something? Now there's a good chance there could be some impala up in this area. And of course wild dogs, look, 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 ooh, really love baby impala. The most I've seen them kill in a single sighting was nine. And uh, if Connor is close by, it definitely might be worthwhile get, getting, uh, getting Connor into the area. Hopefully he's back from Chitwa Chitwa because that would be incredible because we might lose them, uh, especially with our roof on as they are jogging down. She, see, I think she's seen something. I just watch her ears every now and then. No, maybe not. Now, whatever they see, it needs to be to the right, or at least run to the right. See, I don't know, I think she might have heard something. A 
Isn't this just spectacular? Now there's a good chance. No, don't go that way. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Darn it! Dag nabbit! I was really hard for hoping they were gonna go that way or chase something that way at least. I think we might get yeah one last glimpse as they run off to the north.